Happy month of October. Happy month of October, Scorpio, and happy birthday. October starts your birthday season. And things are going to be very interesting for you this month because you've got a lot of cosmic energy in your sign. But the month starts off on the second with the end of the Mercury retrograde, and it ends in your goal planning sector. This causes you to reconsider some dream or some goal that you have abandoned, and you might actually reconsidering going back to bring it back to life. Is there something that you've been longing to do and never really got the chance to get around to doing it or didn't have enough energy to do it or enough time to do it? Well, this past Mercury retrograde, stimulated you to rethink maybe i should go back and revisit that and see what can happen if so you will put greater effort into making a dream come true this month let me just say this to you increasing your resources is going to be a big deal because that full moon on the ninth will highlight your work sector now the full moon brings energy it brings uh like highlights something that's going on Something that has been manifesting in your work situation. And what happens this full moon is that it connects to abundance planet Jupiter. Yes, the full moon connects with abundance planet Jupiter. And this can be a very nice time for something to be revealed regarding your work situation. You might get a new job or you might get a different position, or you might find out about a job somewhere else that pays a little bit more money. But I need you to pay attention to what messages and information comes your way around that full moon, because whatever it is, it's going to bring some sort of way of expanding what you do for work in one way or the, or the other. Also, you may have an issue that you've been dealing with regarding health. So have you not you know, taking time out to really take care of yourself, you may need to go and make some doctor's appointments or some nutritional appointments or go to your acupuncture and see what is going on with your health. Because there can be something about your, your health that you need to take care of and Jupiter's going to be there to open the door to make sure that everything is okay because Jupiter always brings a solution, a solution your way. You might need to change doctors and you've been waiting on someone to recommend a better doctor for you and all of a sudden, that message can come up like that. So that's going to be really good because you're going to get some valuable information around that full moon on the 9th, okay? On the 30th, when the planet Mars goes retrograde, it allows you to restructure your financial issues. Let me ask you, how's your money been doing? How you been handling your money? How is your money management? You know, you may also get a chance to get a better paying job around that time. So this is a really good time to focus, have an eagle eye, focus in on what is going on around your money when that Mars, the planet of energy, starts energizing, going retrograde, and allow you to rethink what is going on with your finances. But back to the birthday. Yes, you are totally magnetized, energized. You know, a lot of charisma and good things float around you for your birthday, Scorpio. Yay! On the 23rd, when the sun steps into your sun sign, attraction planet Venus will also be there. And Venus adds charm. It adds, you know, beauty. It adds, you know, attraction. You know, people are going to want to be around you, talk to you. You're going to be feeling wonderful and feeling handsome and beautiful and feeling very charismatic, which is wonderful. And then on the 25th, there's going to be a new moon solar eclipse. New moon solar eclipse. So new moons bring new directions, but it's a, an eclipse. And an eclipse is a powerful moon that can stimulate you to do something quickly. Now, solar can also deal with health. You may really want to start saying, you know what, I need to go take care of myself better because I'm just fabulous, you know, and I, I want to, you know, feel better and, you know, uh, uh, you know, do something good for myself. So you may actually want to take better care of yourself. You may actually start a new diet, start doing some more exercise, but whatever it is, is for your physical betterment, okay? Venus being there, you're going to attract a lot of attention. So I don't know how your love life is right now, but there can be an increase or a boost in your love life around the 23rd and especially around that 25th with that new moon okay and back to your love life your love life will show a lot of energy once abundance planet jupiter steps back because it's going to retrograde back into your love sector on the 28th mm. 
all issues and romance can surface. And I want you to know that somebody from your past may come back. Or if you're in a relationship, somebody may say, you know, we haven't been doing things the best way. Let's start all over and do things uh, all over. You know, let's do a redo in love. You might get a redo in love with someone you're currently with. But whatever it is, Jupiter always represents some sort of either freedom, abundance, some sort of expansion, or something better coming your way. Absolutely, Scorpio. So that was the astro reading of your read, chart, of your forecast. And I have three decks of tarot cards. And I'm going to do a card for you from each deck. And the first message is, the first message is um, strengthening bonds. Strengthening bonds. So let me ask you something. Have you been with your friends? Is there somebody you need to reach out to and have a stronger relationship with? Or this could be with a love relationship. Maybe the two of you have been a little distanced. You know, that Mercury retrograde can cause problems in love. Problems in relationship because it definitely was in the sign of Libra, which is what's, which is a sign of relationships. So maybe you need to go back and, you know, spend quality time with somebody or get in touch with a friend that you've been missing. Say, hey, I miss you. Let's get together and, you know, see how each other is doing. Let's go out and have a good time. We'll just start talking to each other a little bit more. And it could be also your family members. When's the last time you've spoken to an elderly family member, somebody that you miss, you know? You may want to reach out to them and say, hey, how you doing? I love you. I'm sending you love. How about that? The second card, the second card is... The Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, well, this is a person in charge, but it's a person in charge of her business. So this is the time to take care of your business. Have you been neglecting things for yourself? You know, have you been letting things slip by? Have you not been on top of things as you should be? I know that retrograde, you know, had everybody kind of whirling around. But now's the time to get back and take care of your business, whether it is your personal business, business or your financial business. Okay? Time to take care of business. And the third card, the third card is, the third message is the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands. So now the Ten of Wands are talking about, wow, you have to really be careful of being a burnout, okay? What is going on? Are you being burnt out? Are you not taking out time for yourself? Are you allowing someone to take your energy? Are you on a job where you're unappreciated? Are you in a relationship where you're unappreciated? Do you have family members that take you for granted? So this is going to be a good time to take time out for yourself and not be burnt out. Create some boundaries for yourself and others. Take care of your business. Don't overlook things and let things slip by. Take care of your business. And it's a good time to strengthen bonds with family members, relationships, or friends around you that you've been missing and need to bring closer. Because, you know, you listen, friends are hard to find. They really are. So if you got a good friendship out there and you know they're a good friend, time to let them know that I miss you. We need to spend some time to, to you know, to strengthen our bonds. Okay? So that was your Astro Tarot reading for the month of October. But if you like a more personal reading, if you want me to take a look at your chart, take a look at your planets and find out what is going on in your chart, what is going on with your planets, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com. And let me see what is happening for you for the month of October. And I'd like for you to have a wonderful month. And thank you.